symbolic of this change is the international airport at Bangkok, the capital. Just as they had grasped the opportunities offered by previous developments in transportation, so the Thais quickly saw the possibilities of air travel. Today, Bangkok is a center at which airlines of all nations call on their routes between Europe and East Asia, the Pacific, Australasia and the Americas. It is the base for the national and international services provided by Thai Airways. Until recently, DC-3s were used by Thai Airways for their internal service. But now three Hawker Siddeley 748 aircraft are taking over. The 3,400 mile route network of Thai Airways is divided into three parts, North, Northeast and South. Daily scheduled services are operated, giving excellent communications between new development areas and Bangkok. Every important center of development is covered by TAC, carrying a constant flow of government officials, businessmen, commercial and industrial advisors and tourists. the 748 there's been an upward trend in passenger figures. 1966 will show an increase of 50% over 1963. configuration operated by TAC, the 748 carries 40 passengers. The cabin is pressurized and air conditioned. The aircraft is operated by a crew of four, comprising captain, co-pilot and two stewardesses. Catering is provided on every flight. From the pilot's point of view, the 748 is an exceptionally easy aeroplane to fly. The cockpit designed by airline pilots is well laid out and gives an excellent field of view. The manual controls are light and responsive and the handling characteristics under all conditions are outstanding. The 748 of course has a fail-safe structure it is the most advanced twin dart DC-3 replacement. The average stage length flown by 748s throughout the world is 200 miles and in many cases 100 miles or less, involving the aircraft in an abnormally high number of landings. The short, stiff undercarriage which the low wing of the 748 allows stands up to this extremely well. The low wing also gives useful ground clearance for the aircraft fuselage, keeping it clear of flying stones when operating from unpaved runways. For quick turnaround, the main freight door is at the front of the 748 on the port side, with a further baggage and galley servicing door on the starboard side aft, while passengers use the door on the port side of the rear of the aircraft. Average times of 10 minutes are being achieved by other 748 operators from engines off to engines on, including loading and unloading of passengers and baggage, galley servicing, cabin cleaning and refueling.
An outstanding feature of this 748 is its airfield performance, particularly in tropical conditions. For typical operations, the aircraft requires a takeoff balanced field length of only just over 3,000 feet and can operate from small and difficult airfields, whether at sea level or at high altitude. This is being proved daily with the 748 throughout South America and the Caribbean from all types of surface paved and grass, sand, mud, stones, and snow. But in Thailand, a considerable airfield improvement program has recently been undertaken, involving the laying of new runways on several airfields, and new surfaces being provided for runways in hitherto unimportant areas. New terminal buildings have been built, and radio and navigation aids installed, all of which add to the convenience and safety of daily operation. One handicap to TAC's expansion is that night flying facilities are available only at Bangkok, which means that schedules can only be carried out in daylight hours. With the increased block speed and efficiency of the 748, however, the airline is already reshaping existing schedule, substantially increasing passenger and freight traffic. TAC is to introduce night flying facilities progressively at other airfields to yield much higher utilization of the 748. In service with other airlines, the 748 is achieving very high utilization figures averaging 3,000 hours a year. With the average stage length of 200 miles flown by 748s in worldwide airline service, such figures are very good indeed. With the 748 making almost as many landings as its total flying hours, the robust construction of the aircraft pays dividends. Flight times in Thailand fall between extremes of 15 minutes and two hours. For this sort of operation, Thai Airways find the 748 ideal. One of Thailand's principal sources of income is tourism, with 200,000 tourists visiting the country every year. At one time, they stayed in Bangkok, but there's now a growing tendency to visit picturesque areas to the north and south. The majority are Americans, arriving on intercontinental jets, reluctant to travel beyond Bangkok in older types of aircraft. But today, the 748 finds great favor with its modern standards of performance, comfort, and safety. And the distant areas of Thailand can now exploit their colorful way of life. Thai Airways has been financed for over 30 years by the government to provide a public transport service throughout the country. Since 1960, it has concerned itself with domestic routes and with extended services to Penang in Malaysia and Vientiane in Laos. These routes were operated by DC-3s, but in 1962, TAC began to consider a suitable replacement aircraft. Three possible new types were on the market, each powered by Rolls-Royce Dart engines. A full assessment of their capabilities was made. And in the final outcome, TAC decided on the 748. An order for three aircraft was placed, and 748s have been in service since November 1964, from the outset proving their complete suitability. TAC's main base is at Don Myung Airport at Bangkok, with comprehensive and extremely up-to-date maintenance facilities. In addition to maintaining its own fleet, the airline looks after aircraft from neighboring countries and American aircraft based in Thailand. TAC's engineering staff find the 748 simple to maintain. 
everything is open to inspection, with no blind spots at all. Due to the low wing configuration and the grouping of systems, all points needing regular attention are easily accessible without ladders or trestles. Work may be carried out simultaneously on several systems, greatly reducing the time which the aircraft spends on the ground. The 748 is built in Manchester, one of the biggest cities in Great Britain, by one of the 12 largest industrial groups in the world, Hawker Sidley, employing well over 120,000 people in the group's worldwide interests. Amongst other things it produces are engineering and electrical equipment, diesels, locomotives and agricultural equipment. The aircraft facilities of Hawker Sidley in Manchester include extensive production and assembly plants, skilled design facilities, and vast research and testing laboratories. In all, over 10,000 people are engaged in Manchester on producing Hawker Sidley aircraft. With its size and experience, Hawker Sidley offers first-class support facilities for products in the aviation field. In the case of the 748, airline personnel from all over the world are trained either at the company's technical training school or, if more convenient, at the airline's own base. Technical advice and practical assistance is given during the initial phase-in period. The services of two Hawker Sidley engineers, an airframe engineer and an electrical engineer are provided to the airline free of charge for six months. A mobile field unit of skilled technicians is maintained from which repair and servicing teams are available at 24 hours notice to meet emergency calls from any part of the world. And a special spare store delivers from stock in 14 days and maintains a 24 hour AOG spare service. Easy access to those areas which need frequent servicing and inspection makes possible a progressive maintenance schedule for the 748 allowing the aircraft to be operated throughout its life with no major grounding. This makes it unique amongst twin dart DC-3 replacements. It is possible to fly the 748 for eight hours every day throughout the entire life of the aircraft. The 748 has an almost indefinite life. The value of its structure has been fully proved by exhaustive testing in Manchester. Both structural and fatigue tests have been carried out which show the 748 to have a useful life in normal airline service of at least 40 years. From industrial Manchester back to tropical Thailand is an easy step. It is one of the many countries of the world that look to industrial Britain for the right aeroplane for the job the job of linking the far provinces to the mainstream of life which flows through the capital. The services flown today by TAC are a far cry from their first operations in 1930. Nowadays the traveller can go from place to place in Thailand in the same comfort as he once travelled from continent to continent. Thai Airways claim that in introducing the 748, they have provided an aircraft which is as popular with operating and maintenance crews as it is with those who fly in her to the far corners of Thailand, the land of the free. <laughs>